Hey, welcome back to Clean Cut, where we can talk about the truth about just about anything, as long as we use logic and common sense. This season we're discussing issues that I've personally wrestled with with regard to the faith, and today we'll discuss the meaning of eternal life. The New Testament, again, has eternal life as one of its major themes. Jesus talked about it often, and so did his disciples, who he sent out to preach. Who said to them, Amen, I say to you, there is no man that hath left house, or parents, or brethren, or wife, or children, for the kingdom of God's sake, who shall not receive much more in this present time, and in the world to come, life everlasting. Luke eighteen twenty nine to 30 As for you, let that which you have heard from the beginning abide in you. If that abide in you which you have heard from the beginning, you also shall abide in the Son, and in the Father. And this is the promise which he hath promised us, life everlasting. 1 John two twenty four to 25 now, our lives are not eternal in the same sense that God's life is. God is eternal in the sense that he has no beginning and also no end. The saints, and even the angels, exist in a more limited way, since none of us are truly independently existing. When this kind of eternal life is offered to the saints, this only means that it doesn't have an end. It continues forever and ever in a world without end. That's what the word eternal means in the eternal life concept, what about the word life? Well, obviously it means continuing to not experience death, but that's just for starters. The word death has a couple of different uses in the Bible, and this concept of everlasting life negates all of them. Bodily death is the first, but the second is far more important. But of the tree of knowledge of good and evil thou shalt not eat. For in what day soever thou shalt eat of it, thou shalt die of the death. Genesis 2.17 Die the death is itself an interesting phrase. In Hebrew, which the Old Testament was written in, when you want to add emphasis to something, you repeat the same word twice. A more precise translation of this verse would have ended with something like, Thou shalt die, die. Clearly, this verse is meant to add emphasis to the word death, which, if we were to translate its overall meaning, would be something like super death, or a death beyond death. However, a person can hardly be said to have everlasting life while experiencing a death beyond death, so this kind of death is also destroyed by everlasting life. So, what was this death beyond death? Mainly, it seems to have been composed of vulnerability to sinful temptations, mortality, and estrangement from God. All of this factors into the concept of everlasting life. Not only are the saints immortal, but they are impervious to evil temptations, and they can never again be separated from God. However, even this isn't the end of the story. You see, the Hebrew word for life is chai, as in the phrase lechayim, for those who've been present for a Jewish toast or seen Fiddler on the Roof, and it has all the qualities of a root word, referring to the broad category of life and everything needed for a good life. We, for example, would say that there's a difference between being alive and actually living. However, chai refers to everything that we would think of when using a phrase like, now that's really living. In short, everything that's good for people to have is encompassed by this term. We can see this in both the Old and New Testaments. In the Old Testament, the commandments of God are referred to as life in Proverbs 4, 20-22. And in the New Testament, Jesus says that both he and his words are life, John 14, 6 and John 6, 64. So it's clear that this understanding of life was still common in ancient Palestine at the time when the New Testament was being written. So, for this reason, eternal life doesn't just mean everlasting survival, but everlasting fulfillment. Next, what are the implications of eternal life? That's all for now, so keep asking questions, and thanks for watching.